What's up, everybody? It's Andrew and Dante. We are playing one of my favorite games of all time, and top Soul two. Counter? No, top two in the Final <laughs> Fantasies. Final Fantasy X, the remastered edition. Uh, maybe if this goes well, I'll play it. I'll play ten too, but it's not looking likely. I don't think so. Uh, so Wait, these is a sequel to ten. That's not called eleven. Yes, it's called ten two. And. It is basically... Oh, so 10 plus... So 10 plus 2. Yeah, basically. 12. It's Final Fantasy 12. <laughs> it, it is a... <laughs> Final Fantasy 10 2 is basically like if Charlie's Angels had a video game. And they did. They did have a video game. Sh sh Dante, Dante, you're ruining my thing. You're ruining my analogy. Shut up. It's a, <laughs> yeah. And it's it's really girly. And when a uh, teenage version of me, when it came out, was just like, oh, that sounds stupid. But now... I'm older. It still kind, kind still kind of sounds a little stupid, but I think I'm gonna I would enjoy it more, especially if I've been playing it for an audience. But anyway, so <laughs> we just spent <laughs> twenty two like two minutes just talking and just staring at this intro cutscene where Meg Ryan's there, just mm -hmm. staring in the sky. Um, it's great. <sighs> Ten has an interesting story and it starts in Meteor Ray which I don't think any other Final Fantasy has done it doesn't happen too much different? in a lot of games yeah they're all a little bit different but this like they've never had this kind of narrative before it's like so the beginning of the game is this scene but this we actually go story. yeah we go back in time to this to be our last chance do everything and we get to get a lot of exposition, and that's great. Interesting, yeah. This is a lot. This is a very long intro, like an avant-garde film. Yeah, it's it, it's a lot of ex exposition. So we're gonna play this first episode is just gonna be this long, like the first half of a prologue, I think, before we meet all of our uh, before we meet our party members. So damn, didn't bring any popcorn. You should have brought some popcorn, man. It's okay, oh, though. hush puppies, though. It's okay. Uh, I for I always forget how great the fashion is in this world. So is this still, like... Because one thing that's always throwing me off about Final Fantasy is, like, whether it's more sci-fi than it is fantasy, but um, this looks more technological. Uh, it, it, see, it's a little technologically advanced. Um, in especially in the prologue, but for the most part, it's um, not so much. But we'll get into that probably, <laughs> probably in the second episode when we see more of it. Oh, cool! But this guy I'm playing is him now. His name is Titus, or Titus. Tetis. I don't, I don't know how his his name is pronounced because no one, is the, no one ever says his name out loud can because you can change his of name. Course. That's insane. Oh, oh, that's yeah. funny. Yeah. Oh, I think Titus. It makes more sense t to, to be Don't Titus, I think, because, you know, tides and oh, it's a water themed mm -hmm. game. But <clears throat> in Kingdom Hearts, his name has actually spoken and they call him Titus. But the person who says his name has an accent, so it's very hard. Oh, wow. I didn't realize he was in any of the Kingdom Hearts games. Yeah, he's in, he's in like he plays a young he's in Kingdom Hearts one very a very young very bit part. No problem. He plays a child version of himself. Alrighty. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Take it easy. Yeah. So what is he? Some kind of like Final Fantasy polo player or some shit? He is uh, basically uh, he's a blitz ball player, which is water. Soccer, I think. Oh, jeez. Hey, I got a game to play. He's also kind of an asshole, which I love. You love that he's kind of an asshole. He he's kind of a dick. Like he gets the one of the best uh, character elements in the in the series, I think. But right now he's just bag of dicks. Yeah, that's great. So it's kind of like the Lightning McQueen where he starts out as like this not so humble guy and then eventually he, becomes humble. Yeah, he, he gets a little humility, which is great. 
but he's he's like 17 years old and he's a pro athlete so of course he's going to be a jackass oh yeah true I love the scenery see this is another game I wouldn't mind getting the Final Fantasy 7 treatment um, I don't know if they would give it the Final Fantasy 7 treatment I, I would like so. to is this not is this not only top Final Fantasy lexicon for it's, it's, it's one of the Final top Fantasy ones games? but I think it it, it is aged a lot better than Final Fantasy VII. The reason why uh, why Seven is was been like clam- why they clamored to have um, Seven get a remake so much is because it hasn't aged well. Oh, I gotcha. Right. I'm not gonna talk over the narration now. I knew how sad he'd be. Heck, we all were that day. Yeah. Zanara says to myself, "What are you thinking?" Is this you? Like older you? No, no. Um, oh. I don't know who. Who that is? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I've never made sense of who that. Just who some was mysterious narrating. narration. Just some guy sitting at the at the corner with a booth and the <laughs> microphone is like, "Yeah, that's me." You're probably wondering how I got here. <laughs> yeah. It's a no, funny it's, story. It's just some just some announcer guy, I think, because they were talking about Jack, who is also like a star blitzball player who went missing, and it's not a big spoiler. We're gonna find out why. But, you know, it's going to be great. He was killed. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, totally. Oh, look, totally. PS2 CGI. Yeah. Or remastered CGI, rather. Yes, remastered CGI. With the most badass theme song ever. <laughs> mm. Just ridiculous. And it completely against <laughs> Final Fantasy type. Yeah, I'm not used to hearing, like, rock during a Final Fantasy game. It's also weird because, like, Final Fantasy X was the first time they had actually gotten someone else to compose the music. And I'm like, well, that makes sense. I I can hear the difference in this, but I learned that Nabuo Uematsu actually composed this song. (laughs) He wrote this. Oh, wow. And And it just sounds like gruff Metallica just belching into their microphone. Is he carrying milk? Wait, I think I recognize this character. Yeah, that's Didn't you Arn. see him in the Coliseum? Yeah. Yeah, he's he's in Kingdom Hearts too. Yeah, he was in he was in he was in Hades level, I believe. Yeah. Yep. Uh, he is pretty much a fan favorite, no matter who <laughs> who you're talking to. He's, he's my favorite character in the game, but he's just all around badass. Cool. Oh, that's oh okay. I see. It's like an Aqua Spear. Mm-hmm. It, it is it is a bizarre game, but I love it so Wait, much. Wait, is the man with the milk jug bringing the water? <laughs> uh, just, war- just Wait, what the <laughs> fuck is going on? I guess you'll have to see. Oh, shit. I, I am really glad that I got my sound working, though, because I, I do enjoy listening to this music. Yeah, I would definitely have to hear all this. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> not being able to hear this one else. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shooting water jizz out. <laughs> That's right. Shooting water jizz. It's God, this is what I feel like. This is what I feel like the final chaos should have been in the Sonic Adventure games. <laughs> this big random attack blob. Yeah, <laughs> instead of just. A liquid snake. Some weird liquid snake, yeah. That yeah. looked solid in the cutscene, but then wasn't. <laughs> yeah. Um, they do make it look better in 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 game and not CGI, so it does look kind of good. Ooh, can't wait to see. Yeah. Ooh, fun. God, it's been so long since I played like uh, actual traditional JRPG. I almost forgot about the uh, the camera work. Oh, look, there he is. Hey. What are you doing here? I was waiting for you. What are you talking about? Uh, I gotta love that very first attempt at at uh, voice acting for Final Fantasy. <laughs> Poor direction. Oh, uh, I don't think they were all like that. Like no, most no, JRPGs. They, get, they get better, but. Final Fantasy like never had any voice acting before this, so the oh, director. Oh wait, that's right. Yeah, the direction wasn't great because 
James Arnold Taylor and Heidi Burris and all the other, everyone else in fucking John DiMaggio, they're amazing voice actors. But they just what? Don't cry. gave a bad performance or were directed uh, well, poorly. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you're not directed to like, it's easy for anybody to just read a line. It's, it's yeah. another thing to actually give it like affliction and tone. And, you know, you kind of got to know. Yeah. what the setting is before you can actually <laughs> say like hey like yeah oh my god the village is burning down and then no. there's like oh my god the village is burning down oh my god the village is burning down not this way look oh boy what is it i don't see it we're not looking at the same thing <laughs> <laughs> oh how about the Blitz Spear get all the way over there? That's cool. Sin. Oh. Ah. Sin? Well, that's a little Sin on the nose there, Orin, isn't it? Oh, shit. That's a... Uh, something. Sin spawn. Ooh. Ooh. Ew. Ew. <laughs> it's right. That suddenly got gross. <laughs> Oh look, the sin spawn had more sin spawn. Ew, these things uh. are not. <laughs> I would have already had jumped if I seen shit like <laughs> this coming at me. That's why you're not the leader of a J <laughs> the main character in a JRPG. You're absolutely right. <laughs> I don't know. Don't ask me where I was hiding that, by the way. Right. <laughs> oh, his father. Yeah. Or stepfather? I don't know. No, that well, his uh, Jack was the uh, Blitzball star they were talking about earlier. He he is his oh. father, and I like oh, how okay. all of a sudden it's real easy for for Titus Titus or whatever to lift the sword after he had such a hard time lifting it with both hands before. Right now he's just doing it like the the sword jig with his <laughs> with his right hand. Yep. All right, just cut oh, this through is everything. This interesting combat. You just cut right through them, huh? Oh, yeah. Normally, yeah. In the actual random battles, it'll, it is, it's going to be a lot more straightforward, but Don't this... Don't going after all of them. Cut the ones that matter and run. Thanks, bud. No problem, boss. <laughs> his sword is cool. Yeah, his sword is awesome. I, I love them. So this isn't like... Uh, this doesn't this doesn't follow like the trope of um most Final Fantasy games where the protagonist doesn't start out with like a father or anything. It's like either they're an orphan or their mother is still alive. This one just oh. went straight for. Oh, Titus Ooh. is definitely an orphan. <laughs> Titus is definitely an orphan. Oh really? Oh, yeah. so it's oh okay. Yeah. I'll say that was <laughs> a bit weird. <laughs> what are you doing? I guess we're gonna fight this. I guess we gotta kill him. I guess we gotta kill these these just birthed enemies. I, oh, he's casting dummy. Yeah, he can't. Yeah, this boss cannot kill us. I guess that's a prologue. It's only gonna cast dummy. Get out of my town! Some can't wait to die. Oh yeah. Mm, that's then hmm. battle stuffs. All right. Bushido Dragon Fang. Oh, this looks mm. cool. Ooh, I love Action. interactive uh, turn-based games. Oh, you fucked it up. It up. <laughs> I fucked it. It's okay. They're going to be dead anyway. You blew it, and you yeah. also blew them up. Hey -oh. Yeah, everyone's uh, everyone's overdrive, uh, which you just saw, they have a different way of interacting with it, with the game. So for uh, Titus' example, we'll show this. You have to line it up just properly. Oh, it's like Mega Man, uh, Mega Man Mavic Hunter. Then it was the same thing. Oh, okay, cool. So yeah, his uh, yeah. Orange is like the 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 fighting game uh, combos. Tidus is just uh, timing. Walk is uh, is uh, reels that you have to line up the the right attack elements and all that. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. Blah blah blah. Characters the best. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, I, I was never a fan of of like most RPGs following like the Pokemon mechanic where you would just attack and just hope it hit and you know, <laughs> special move and attack. you just use the attack. Yeah, 
I mean, this is very similar to it for the most part, but it's still good. Still good, yeah. Yeah, it's it's still it's it's tur all turn based, but you actually know when when your turn is coming, in in that corner or that that side of the window, you can see yeah, exactly when nice. and you can plan out your attack appropriately. And it switches like whenever you change your tactics, it'll switch on the fly, so you always oh, know cool. what's coming up. So is this the same uh, artist who did most of the uh, Final Fantasy games? Do they also do they also do the portraits that are located on the right side? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty oh, sure that cool. the the main the lead artist on this game was the same who's done all the other Final Fantasy. Well, at least all the Final Fantasies that came before it. Um, or at least most of them. Actually, I think this is the Kingdom Hearts guy who did it. Did Boy, this one. Yoshitaki Amano. No, actually, that he did the. He, I think he did the first six. Um, I'm you thinking of. Uh, oh, you're thinking about the other one. Um, yeah. <laughs> the guy yeah. who loves zippers, all the time. Oh yes, him. <laughs> yeah. All zippers, all the time. Zip, zip, zip. I mean, you gotta have zippers, you know. Okay. That's a lot of things. It's okay. They're not going to kill us. Oh, no, Andrew. They got wings and shit. They're, those wings are going to flicker. Are... Can't tell like if they're you can tell me which one I need to kill. Insect base. <laughs> uh, they're just insect base. Mm. Ooh, dead. Oh, he's dead. And look, his souls are disappearing. Oh, yeah. Uh, they also like go in depth with how how the monsters are created and like they spend a lot of time expositing on what on this world and I love the game for it. Oops. So does this not boil down to like its typical Final Whoops. Fantasy theme, which is basically you're just killing the god? Yeah, I mean eventually you will realize what they're doing, what they're talking about, but. They are. They spend a lot. They spend a lot of time building the world, and I love it for it. Oh, that's just cool. His I just noticed his dodge is basically just a side step like a badass. Oh yeah, he's real cool. Okay, gonna kill that thing. Blow it up. That's what you gotta do to win this fight. You gotta blow it up. Oh, are they just jumping? <laughs> Oh shit! Uh, uh, oh, knock down the building? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's okay. We're good. This is good. We're good. We're we fine. just killed like sixteen, mm, sixteen maybe seventeen people in the explosion. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of people in there. <laughs> Go. <laughs> uh, I'll tell the, damage. I'll tell. I'll tell the cops that it wasn't you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, we're burning! <laughs> oh no! When I think about it, it sounds real awful. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it pretty much is. Oh, it just switched straight to a cutscene. Yeah, it. Uh, this game jumps from, from gameplay to cutscene real quick, and it's actually. The transition is really good, usually. Yeah, that looks weird. Oh, yeah. They're getting sucked inside the sky water anus. <laughs> yeah, we're getting sucked into the butthole. It looks less aquatic now and gross <laughs> now. Uh. This is it. Uh. All right, I don't want to. I don't want to do this. I you just want to chuck go him inside the fucking. I don't want to do this anymore. Oh, no, he's going to throw him in the anus. <laughs> oh, God, we cannot title this episode into the anus. Into the sky, anus. So from the <laughs> beginning. <laughs> and that's how we end episode one of Final Fantasy X, everyone. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.